Okay, so here's the new as seen on TV skinny stacks. I just barely pulled them out. There's only two of them. Skinny stacks. 1988 for two of them. And uh, I'm gonna wash them in the dishwasher. They come with an easy to follow guide. It says they're dishwasher safe. You can also freeze them as long as you let them completely defrost when you pull them out. Heated food may damage or discolor the film. The tray must only be used to warm pre-cooked food. The tray is not a cooking dish. High temperature could damage it. If the tray warps, clean it in dishwasher to flatten it again. The Skinny Stacks film is resistant. However, do not use it for food that is too large in height or for any kind of food that has sharp edges or spikes. Any small hole can tear the film and permanently destroy it. Skinny Stacks must not be used in oven or on hot plates and stoves. As far as the dishwasher, it says take the lid off the tray and place the two components into the lower racks for plates. Depending on the placement and temperature of your dishwasher, the tray may bend. If this happens, change its position in the dishwasher and run it through another dishwashing cycle. Okay, I'm going to wash these because I just opened them and I'll be right back. Okay, I washed these bad boys. They were pretty easy to wash and dry right away. Um, I did find right away it was uh, easier to uh, pull them apart. You just uh, you have to open them all the way to get them to come apart, I believe it was. So, like right there, you can see they they slide right in and then you can uh, close them again, in theory. Okay, I'm doing it wrong. Slide right in like that. And you can close them again. If you're gonna wash them, I found that it's easier to just pop them out like that, pop them right back in. So in theory, you want to keep the food like two inches away from the edge, push it down over it, and then lock it to seal. And I can show you on this one. I'm not too sure about this film, but I mean, if you're gonna have them, you're just gonna have to be a uh, uh, careful. Obviously, handle them gently. But anyways, here goes the verdict. Uh, put some food in here and see how it goes. Um, chop some stuff up for my wife for dinner, so I figured I'd give you a quick review of these. Uh, it's already being a little annoying because it's popping out. Let's see if I can get it back in there. Uh, well. Are a little bit annoying. Alright, it's all the way in there. Oh, this looks like it doesn't it do tend to come out, so you might want to have something to lean them against. Anyways, I'm just going to toss some cucumbers in here. It says not to go over two inches in height with the food, so probably going to try to layer these in here nice and neat real quick. See how many I can get in here. It's a little awkward. It's wanting to slide away from what I have it leaned against, so you can definitely see where that would be annoying. See how many cucumbers I can get on here. I did slice a whole cucumber just for this video, which we really didn't need for dinner. But oh, that looks about right. So that's uh, a little close to the edge, but gonna bunch them up there. Try to keep them as far away from the edge as possible. Close it. It's good, I mean, with, oh, popped out again. So the thing I can find annoying right away is the hinges tend to pop out, but it's with any new product, you just need to get used to it. All right, just close it and latch it. It's got a pretty good seal all the way around, so, I mean, that's a pretty good grip of cucumbers in there, so. Uh, one feature I do really like is uh, my wife always labels the uh, leftovers and such in the fridge with the date. It actually has a month here, so anyways, whatever the date is, I know it's uh, December something, I don't quite remember the date, let's just say it's December 2nd. You can put the month over here by the number and then the date over here and slide it down. And then, uh, they're supposed to stack on top of each other. Looks to me like they'll stack on top of each other as long as you don't go above the 2 inch height or whatever. This is the other one I washed. Um, I think it's a pretty cool product so far, you just have to get used to it. It's kind of flimsy as far as I want to slide around. Got a bunch of uh, diced bell peppers here, so they should all fit. Let's see if I can get them all in here real quick. I mean, you can 
could put like a leftover some leftover burritos or something in here. Uh, about the only negative I guess is the two inch inch height. You might smash a burrito. When you go to close it, I do notice you definitely have to make sure it's latched good over here as you're going down. And again, less than two inches in height, two inches away from the edge. Go ahead and close it. I mean, they are pretty quick. Just make sure they're latched good. Put the date on the sides, and they are good to go. See how good they stack. I mean, they're stackable, but it's still gonna rest against the food that's underneath it. So, I will give you a picture of how they look in the fridge. So there you can see the uh, two that I stacked in the bottom. They're a little bit pricey, 1988 for two of them, but uh, man, you could really stack. I wanna say, let's see, there's two right there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll probably stack eight of those in a straight line. So, I mean, you could fit a ton of leftovers in there. Uh, that is one advantage of them is they're stackable. So, I mean, it costs a little bit of money to collect a bunch of them, but depending on how long they last, uh, uh, they're pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy with them, so I think we're definitely going to go buy some more. Uh, I really like the date on the side and all that, and my wife likes to keep her fridge pretty much managed. I kind of got in a mess 